Well, I've been a journalist for almost all my life. About 14 years ago, after working at the Washington Post for almost 20 years, I started to get a feeling that I wanted to write books. And the first book I wrote was a biography of Bill Clinton. I'd covered politics for the Post. I covered Clinton from before he announced for president and wanted to write a biography, not a political biography so much as a study of someone's unlikely rise and of the post-war baby boom generation. So in any subject, it's not so much the apparent subject that I'm interested in as in the sociological forces that shape human beings and the geography and the history and the, the personality that I'm interested in. So I've written about a range of subjects from Bill Clinton to Vince Lombardi, who was the great football coach for the Green Bay Packers, sort of an icon of my youth. You can't imagine two people more unlike than Lombardi and Clinton, one sort of the symbol of the old way, the other to some a symbol of the post-war excesses, um, both stereotypes that aren't true. I love to explode stereotypes. And I wrote about Lombardi not because I loved football, but because I thought he was a way to write about the mythology of American success. So similarly, I wrote about Clemente not because of baseball, but because of Clemente and what he represented to me just in terms of grace and beauty and fury and the Latin presence in America and race. There were so many things I could write about through him. It wasn't baseball. It wasn't his statistics. It was just something more spiritual and soulful that I was looking for. I found a lot of interesting documents, actually, at the Library of Congress, where they had all of the papers of Branch Rickey, who had been the general manager of the Pirates um, when Clemente played there. Rickey is a national figure because he brought Jackie Robinson into baseball. I traveled to Puerto Rico and interviewed all of the family and many Latin baseball players, traveled around the country finding old baseball players and sports writers, did scores of interviews, worked very hard to find the records of the plane crash, which were not easy to locate. They weren't in the courtrooms in San Juan, where I thought they might be, or even at the uh, federal district court in Boston, the appeals court. There was a lawsuit after the crash, and I was trying to get the records. And finally, I found a, a lawyer who had represented the Justice Department in the lawsuit. He was in Washington, and I interviewed him for a couple of hours, and finally he said, okay, you're the guy. And he took me downstairs to his closet, and he had a huge cardboard box that said Clemente on it. And it was every transcript, every document, every investigation, all of the private secret records of the case, which I got, and that helped me write the final four chapters of the book.